Okay, um, this is a horse whose walls grow, um, I think he has coffin bone remodeling. Don't, they haven't got him x-rays to make sure, but, um, he's a Morgan. His feet should have been very, very steep, the dorsal walls, and the toes were just never taken back enough. And, uh, so he's got some very horizontally growing hoof wall. Okay, so on him, it grows down a little bit here in the sides of the toe, but here his wall dishes out and grows horizontal. Um, so still trying to correct that. He's getting a little better, but he's very flat-footed. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, I just want to trim the frog on him in this video uh, because I'm going to do a trim on these walls, and that always takes him down kind of short and so you have to trim his frog down. So I'm going to trim this frog. I want you to see how you trim these frogs. You, he's got a really healthy frog because I trim his frog. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to do this foot and not say a whole much, but first I'm going to do the frog. Okay. We're going to find the apex of that frog. He's got very flat feet. No, don't be afraid get in there to find the apex of the frog. You're going to have to I mean, you can see how dry they are. See how I get in there? I'm not afraid to get in there and find the apex of that frog. Okay, now the, the soul and the frog apex blend together in like one seamless unit and that's what you have to find. Okay, you can't be afraid to take out some of the soul in front of the frog. Okay, see? Right here, now the true apex is right about here. Okay, but it blends together. If you look at the internal foot, okay, the skin from which these things grow, the soul and the frog, all blend together. Okay, here you go. See, here's your frog corium. Here's your soul corium. You see how it's just, it just is seamless. They produce different things with different textures, but when you look at the foot, it's just seamless. So you see why, now, now your true apex is gonna be just a little further ahead of the apex of the frog corium. See there? And it blends in here and the, just the sole, it's a seamless blend and you have to find where this blends and turns into the sole. Um, because you can't have your toe off. A lot of times you, your frog could be clear up here. Okay? And you're measuring your toe clear up here. You know, um, these are anatomical general measurements um, and they're there to help you. You have to find the true apex of the frog. And you cannot be afraid, you know, to take out the loose sole in front of here and just start trimming this apex down to find it. Okay. See that? How seamless it is? I better start the video. That we might be okay. See how I'm taking down that sole? Okay, now it's hard. But see how you take down the sole? Look at that. Now we're gonna see, this yeah. also how take the down the layer of off that whole frog. Because I don't want petrified frog. <laughs> okay, now you don't want to have petrified frog. Um, petrified frog will start to crack. The crack will go up into the central sulcus and into the frog stay and then from there into the soft sensitive tissues of the foot. And notice um, I haven't trimmed this horse for quite a while and, and he's got no thrush at all. Okay, let's move it. 
then it would and has to stay out of the church. We have a very not that which and this has been the wettest year in Kansas we have ever had. Just so you know. Now, I shape it like the frog sulcus. Okay, yes, I do shape it like the frog sulcus when I'm trimming the fro frog sulcus. But I meant what I meant was I shape it like the frog corium. In other words, when I cut it here, I don't leave a sharp edge. I'm going to trim that edge off. Let's see. See, now see how the frog corium is rounded? See, it's rounded. It's not, and see the frog here, how that frog is shaped? You know, I don't leave square edges and things like that. I shape it and trim it the same shape as the frog corium. I get down in the collateral groove. I don't want frog crawling into the collateral groove and filling it up, smashing into it, filling it up and pushing the bars over. See how much I'm taking out of that collateral groove? Oh, oh, quit. Out of the collateral groove. There we go. See, shaping it, rounding off that edge. Okay, let me explain something here. Okay, uh, what happened to this horse? Let me back up just a hair. If I can get an open spot. Okay, now his heels push out like this because um, for a long time I just followed the shape of a distorted frog. It's only been in the last six months that I have learned that you have to make your frog, you have to know the shape of the anatomy and then make the frog stay in alignment and in its boundaries. Otherwise, just like heels can get contracted, they can also get pushed out. So um, because I didn't know how to trim the frog correctly, I didn't understand, especially in these breeds. This is a Morgan, okay, and he has feet much like a draft horse. In these breed, breeds, it's very easy for their frogs to be let go and then they get really wide and spread and push the heels out. This is not natural. So I am still yet trying to bring the heels in and trim the frog down and get this narrowed up, which it, it has some, but it's still pushed and stretched out. That is a distortion. That is not the natural foot of the horse. Okay, they say, oh, these draft breeds, that's just the way their feet are. Yeah, because of the way we've trimmed them and allowed them to be. Um, that's not anatomically correct for this horse. Um, so he's pretty spread out. And so um, you have to clean out the collateral groove of the frog and bring it over, clear up um, into the collateral groove exits. You know, you're creating boundaries now for the frog as it's coming in, boundaries for the bars, and hopefully these heels at some point will decide they want to come in and stand up more.
Okay, I just want to say something. That the closer you get to the frog corium, um, actually the more rubbery and softer it gets um, and actually harder to cut. Um, uh, so, you know, right here I have quite a bit of frog on him that I can take off this hard exterior. Now, within a couple days, he'll harden it, up, harden it up again, but he lives in a soft pasture. He does not live where he can wear this off like a wild horse would. You know, the frog is like anything else. It's skin that grows. Your skin exfoliates. You know, y'all buy them little beads, you know, so you can exfoliate the skin on your face. Or we buy that lotion where we can remove calluses. Okay, when you have a hard, heavy callus, your skin does not grow properly underneath it. Okay, we want the exterior to be calloused somewhat, you know, and hardened, but we do not want it to, that hardness to grow in so much that the frog quits growing like it should. See, because I trim these frogs, that's why this frog is so healthy. Again, this has been the wettest year in Kansas. And uh, no thrush at all from using the new hoof and from the way I trim and trimming the frogs up. Okay, now see here, I'm going to shape up that central sulcus. A lot of times, if you haven't trimmed frogs ever, you will have no central sulcus. It'll be all compact and almost dead. You got to start making one so it'll start growing. Because what's up at the other end of that central sulcus is the frog stay. And a correct frog stay is what gives you the correct hoof. It's like the trim begins here and ends back here where you finally get the right kind of heel, the right kind of frog, and the right kind of frog stay. Okay, a lot of people just have a big crack there. Um, or uh, such low heels that it's taken the frog right out of the foot. No frog. They think a deformed frog is frog. Okay. Okay, see right up here? Okay, the frog stretches out right there, and so I just start taking a little bit more of that down each time. And I'm looking at it here now, and I'm seeing where I could have taken even a little bit more because this is where the heels have pushed out and the frog has been stretched over this way. And again, we're trying to get these heels to come together and the frog to come together a little more narrow. All right. But these sticky things, they know not. Maybe I did take more off. I guess I did. I took more off. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of pain and ran greedily after the error of fame. Quit, quit. Inheriting gain fame. Again, see? Okay, now I've found the true apex. Let's stop that and back it up a hair. Right here, okay, right here, soul. Okay, you're going to see a difference in the color here. Okay, see how it's lighter right here? Kind of changes color. Okay, my true apex is right about here. Okay, well, I hope that helped you a little bit. You know, you take that off in, in very thin strips. You want to clean out the collateral grooves. You want to clean out all the tags, everything off of that, as much as you can get the, 
the more unhealthy frog you get off, the more petrified, you don't want the frog to be petrified, the more healthy your frog will be, and then you treat it with new hoof, and you never have a problem with thrush, and, you know, now this frog, I would like it to be thicker, but right now his walls will not grow down horizontally enough, and the toe is not correct um, for him to be thicker. You see, he was sent to the Amish, and they road foundered him, and I've been fighting with his foot ever since. And of course, then I trimmed the heels out. That didn't help him either, you know, so we both kind of did a mechanical founder on him. So now I'm trying to get these heels to stand up, and as you can see, they're pushed out. That's what happened to him when he road foundered. Um, and so, uh, I mean, I had him short, but they really did a number on him, running him down gravel and, and uh, blacktop roads. All right? Okay, so I'm pretty sure my true frog apex is right here. Okay, now your frog apex is going to move back as the frog gets restored and moves back and the heels move back and the bulbs are pushed up. Okay, so I hope that helped you a little bit and understand a little more about trimming these frogs. See, I would even take my smaller knife and come in there and get that a little cleaner right in there. Okay.